17 years old. I got pregnant when I was 15, and I had my son when I was 16. His name is Noah Joseph, and he is a year and five months. Hi, I'm Karen. I'm 18 years old. I have a two-year-old daughter named Alize and a one-year-old son named Adrian. And I became pregnant at 15. My name is Marisa. I got pregnant when I was 15 and had my baby when I was 15. And we have a five-month-old in Diva. And I'm Anthony. I found out I was going to be a father at 16 and I became a father at 17. It wasn't that I found out, my mom actually came into my room and she just told me she had a feeling I was pregnant. And like those moments of when she was in her room and I was in my room thinking about it, like like just so much was running through my mind, like how like I was never going to play like any of the sports I played. Like I was, like I think right then and there I realized like, oh my god, that's like not who I want to be with. I didn't want to be with my boyfriend like forever, like no. So I cried a lot. Like. I was screaming, like, I just had, like, my own little freak out, and then after that, like, my parents calmed me down, and I was really, really scared, really scared. When I first found out I was pregnant, um, I had a lot of morning sickness, so I kind of figured out right away. Um, I thought, what am I going to do, and how am I going to tell my mom? My boyfriend, he wouldn't answer my calls or my texts or anything like that. Like, he had completely, like, disappeared and stuff. So it was really hard telling my mom. I was honestly overwhelmed with the emotions. I didn't really know how to react. I mean, I was mainly, I guess, terrified at most because I was young, I was 16, I had to support a child, and I didn't know how I was going to do it. Honestly, my mind was blank. Like, I couldn't think of anything. Like, I didn't know what I was going to do or anything. Like, I can't say that like one thing hasn't changed because it's changed and it changed everything like the way like I look at life like my decisions um before I was kind of careless about stuff like I was like oh like oh, I have forever to think about it now it's kind of like I don't have any time to waste like I'm on the go I gotta like like have a day of school like it's just I feel like if I take it slow like then my son's life is gonna be affected more than anything so it's just changed the way like my friends, people look at me, like society, like I get a lot of looks like, oh my god, like if I committed a crime, like she has a baby, like it's just everything has changed. Money is really big. Like, his dad doesn't help me at all, so I had to work two jobs and it's just a lot of stress. Um, it's changed my life because now I have to well, know what's best for my kids. Like I can't just go out and have fun or think about me. like. They're my first priority, so I have to think what's best for them. Um, I didn't think about it like being a big deal when I became pregnant. Um, after I had them was when I realized like this is not a joke. Um, I guess it's changed my life. Like I don't do the things I used to. <laughs> like I don't go out with friends. I'm just home with him and the baby all the time. Before I found out, like, I would always kind of be with my friends, like, we would always just kind of do, like, random stuff, and they'd always invite me, and I'd always go, and then, well, they found out that I was going to be a father, so they just kind of slowly stopped inviting me, and they're like, well, you know, you're being a parent, and you don't have time for the immature stuff, and then, so we just kind of slowly drifted away, and now it's pretty much me, and the baby, and Marissa. <laughs> He was so mean to me, and every time he let me fall, like my parents were there to pick up the pieces. Like my mom was my rock through everything. So it made me appreciate a lot about my family that, like that's really what you have. Like, cause not even he was there for me. So um, it's made me appreciate my mom so much, and my stepdad as well too. Like my whole family um, has been there for me. My friends, um, they come around whenever whenever there's a party, like baby shower, they were there. My son's birthday, but. None of them are very like, oh, how are you doing? Is your baby okay? Like, I've had one friend that's like, she'll be like, oh, my baby's dad. Like, cause she helps me so much with my son. 
but I only have one friend stick around a lot for me. With my mom, um, me and my mom grew apart more distant. Um, I remember the doctor telling me that she was going to be my best friend through my whole experience. Um, that didn't happen. She stopped talking to me for like the first three, four months of my pregnancy. She would completely ignore me. Um, if she asked me a question, I needed to ask her, but um, that was it. With my boyfriend, um, it's not the same no more. Um, we used to go out a lot, we used to have a lot of fun. Um, now we don't even go out. We're, we're always fighting, like it's not how it used to be back then. Um, now, my mom, I can say my mom, she, she started talking to me after that. Um, we've grown a better relationship than how I was back then. With, with my friends, well, I, I had a close relationship with them when I was pregnant. After I had my daughter, I just grew distant. Um, with my parents, I think it honestly made the relationship stronger. Like, they love him. I mean, you can't not like your grandson. <laughs> so it, like, it, I think it brought us closer as a family. Well, after a while, after the anger of telling them. <laughs> um, so it kind of brought us closer with the friends. Um, kind of, I guess it kind of drifted us apart slowly. But um, with our relationship, I think it. I guess it affected my relationship with my mom. All we do is fight. <laughs> well, I fight with her, but I don't know. I guess I fight with her because she doesn't think I know how to do anything on my own. And yeah, the same with, like he said, it made our relationship stronger. And with my friends, like, I guess I only talk to my true friends, but everyone else, it kind of like, I, whenever I switched schools when I found out I was pregnant, um, everyone stopped talking to me like completely. And since I rarely switch schools, everyone's like, oh, hey, hi, and that's it. But no one really talks to me like that much. I was planning on having like this big senior year, like I wanted to leave for college, and like all those dreams were just shattered. Like after I found out I was pregnant, like I had to graduate a year and a half early. Um, and right now I'm in college, and like I'm really young to be in college, like really young. <laughs> a lot of people are like, are you supposed to be here? Like, um, college is very hard to get through because I thought it was going to be like high school and it's just not. It's like you get there, you do your work, by like, and it's really stressful like with midterms and my son right there and then he thinks he knows like what page you're going to be on or like he doesn't let me study and it's, it's really, really hard. I have to work out like time really well in order to be able to study. Well, I was a freshman in high school and I became pregnant so um, I didn't really think much about beyond high school. Um, all I knew was that I wanted to be a doctor. So as my senior year started getting closer, I started realizing like, like I'm not with my friends, like I want to walk in my class, I want to be able to be at my home school and not at a charter school. And I tried everything to walk with my, well, with my class and I wasn't able to. Um, I was at graduation crying because I really wanted to be up there. And if I would have made better decisions, I could have been up there with them. Um, regarding my career goals, um, they're still the same. I still want to be a doctor. Um, I'm going to PCC. So for two years to get my associates, and then I'll move on to um, a medical school where I can be a pediatrician. Like sometimes. Like, I'll have to like, leave school early because of like, a doctor's appointment or something, and then I get counted without absences, and then I have like, to do all this work to make it up. But with pretty much my education goals, um, it hasn't really changed them. Well, I, I run cross country, and I've had a couple schools interested in like, scholarships and stuff, but I decided to stay here. So I guess that kind of limited it to not going out of, like, out of town or out of state. So I have to just stay in El Paso and pretty much can't be with family still. <laughs> and yeah, it's hard to do homework with him, right? Well, since he's like more active now, he wants you to play with him constantly. So you can't really put him down, put him to sleep, and do your homework. He like wants to play all night. 
And um, yeah, the same as he said, I wanted to go to college out of town. Like I wanted to go to New York and go to a big fashion design school and I can't because I have to stay here. <laughs> When I first had my son, I don't know why, but like I remember telling my mom, like my first job will be like when I when I'm a, when I'm a psychologist. Like I didn't think I was gonna have to work or anything because I thought his dad was gonna um, support us. And right when my son was like two months, he stopped working, and then I got one job at the child crisis center, and then I got a second job. And ever since then, like about eighty percent of the time, I've had a second job. Um, my son is a lot, like, I think I've just, it's hard to like be 17 and want what everyone else has, but you know like someone needs more than you. So like I have to pay like my car, daycare, I have to pay 110 a week for daycare. Um, I'm paying for my car, my insurance, my phone. Supporting my son alone is just a lot, a lot of money. Um, a lot of people don't understand, they think like, oh you get them cute shoes and a cute shirt and they're okay. Like. Babies have a lot of financial needs. I work, I don't work full time, I only work sometimes. My boyfriend works, um, but all our money goes to our rent, um, our bills, our gas, daycare, and stuff that our babies need, um, or if something unexpectedly just pops up, like, like three days ago our tire popped, so. We had to figure out how to get money for that. And today are another tire pop. So um, those are unexpected things that happen. And well, we don't have the money to afford it. So it's really hard. Um, I want to be able to get another job, but I can because then my daycare races go up and I would have to struggle with that. Uh, my future goals like education. Um, I want to get my master's. Okay, oh, I'm right now getting my associate's in psychology, but I want to get my master's in criminal justice. Everyone tells me that it's going to be hard going to school and becoming a doctor to pick a shorter career, um, but I'm really determined to become a doctor. Um, I know it's going to be away, a lot of time away from my kids. Um, a lot of dedication to study, but I'm willing to do it so I can offer them a better future. Just pretty much to live a normal life and hopefully go to college, get a degree in whatever you want, and be successful. I would say to love your future baby enough to like want to give them everything because if you have your baby at 17, like you can even you don't have a career, you don't have a job. Like I had my son at 16, like I wasn't even old enough to get into like a rated R movie. Like I was a baby and when I got him home, um, I got postpartum depression really bad because I realized that he was coming home to my parents' house, sharing a room with me. Like he doesn't have, he, like I, you should want for your children like a big house and like a playground in the backyard and like a family, brothers and sisters. You should want that for your baby, so you should wait. They don't need to grow up too fast, like they still have a long way ahead of them. Um, think about what they really want in life and what they don't want to give up. So um, having a baby means giving up all, a lot of stuff. I would probably tell them baby is not the best thing when you're in high school. <laughs> they, they should probably wait until like they're in, first of all, a committed relationship because there are way too many single moms. And then, financially stable.